<laughs> so you had no, no memory of it. It's kind of incredible. So look, every day we go, well, time's running out. Oh, I'll sorry. ask you the question. I better ask you the question that I ask everyone just right. because of that gets uh, done. Uh, I'm asking all of my guests this question. What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you need in return? <laughs> what would you need in return? He'd have to fillet me back. <laughs> <Is that it>? <laughs> <laughs> But would you trust him to do that, though, with no. Keith Allen? You'd do, no. Well, you'd want him to do you first, and then you'd do him. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then I have the option of scarpering. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, uh, I'm quite listless after said event. <laughs> <laughs> I'd need a getaway driver, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he could probably get you be falling asleep, and then it's just cock would be in your mouth anyway. That's what... That's what I imagine would happen. I'm asking I'm so all my. So glad you asked me this. I'm asking all my guests that question. I've asked Francesca Martinez. Is that any way to treat guests? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, basic <laughs> guest etiquette. Is, you know, <laughs> welcome to my home. I think what would a, you do? It's a question. It's a very revealing question. We've had different answers from everyone. It's been very. That's. Uh, I said there should be like a Top Gear league of yeah. of the best answers. That's a good one. I think that's definitely in the top three answers. Great, no one okay. said that, so that's good. And it tests people's perspicacity. Hardly anyone's listened to the podcast, so. Uh, only, only Dan Tetzel was prepared for it. And every day I'm going back and looking at Edinburgh Memories. I thought my time up already. God, it is. So that's the end of my little bit. Uh, I've got to go now because uh, luckily I'm getting to go off and suck off Keith Allen. <laughs> Thanks very much. Maybe see you again. Good luck. Um, cool. I'm asking, I'll do this now because I'll forget to do it otherwise. But I'm asking, and this may na make no sense to you. I don't know how much you know about Britain. Uh, but um, what would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? Do you, know, do you know who Keith Allen is? I'm asking everyone, Dave. It's not just for you. It's not just revenge for uh, that last story. I, I, would, I would fillet Keith Allen. Keith, Keith Allen, yeah. Keith Allen, yeah. If he um, cut his own dick off and handed it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I would sit there holding it in my mouth going, can you feel that? <laughs> I know you're bleeding to death, but can you feel that yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah someone should do that to him, actually. That would, uh, that would, work, yeah. that would work out well. Um, and uh, I'm looking back every day. I've been nominated. So I'm, I haven't been nominated. So I'm asking everyone this. Armand, you came to see the yes. show yesterday, so you are forewarned about oh, no. this. What? what would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would it <laughs> If you, if you haven't already. Is that how you got into the mummy? Yeah. <laughs> you just took away my answer. Um, I, 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 for me to fillet Keith Allen. Have you, do you know? Have you worked I with do Keith know. Allen? He's Lily Allen's father. Yeah. I was in his football team, Fat Les. Oh, were you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, He's so actually a really nice guy. But to fillet him, <laughs> fillet him, I would have to have him uh, detach himself from his penis. Yeah. And even then, I wouldn't be able to differentiate between... <laughs> <laughs> the body and the penis. Yeah. But um, I, 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 I would just suck it for the hell of it. Okay, that's fair enough. If you were in a swimming pool, he was knocking it on your head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You just saved that it moment. Might, might go. So also, every day I'm looking back at uh, previous Edinburgh Fringes. I'm working my way up to the present day. If you've got uh, so <laughs> uh, I'm asking all of my guests this, and it may make no sense to you whatsoever, this question. <laughs> but all of my guests are getting the same question. As long as you say it not in Scottish, I might have a shot at okay. understanding. I think you'll understand the words, but you may not know who I'm talking about. You probably will. Um, what would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you need? What would you need in return? Okay, keep in mind that I don't know who Keith Allen okay, is. Okay, that's that makes, I know makes nothing, it just as interesting. Right. Still in uh, <laughs> but pretty much just ask me. That's all it takes. Okay, you'd do it. If I'll you fillet ask. anybody. I filleted people for less. We are, are we a match? I mean, somebody once said. Somebody once said, "This is going to be your epitaph in comedy." Yeah, Provenza is not a guy you want to play gay chicken with. <laughs> <laughs> well, bear in mind that I, I imagine, and I don't know if this is true, that Keith Allen's uh, uncircumcised penis is so fused together with smegma that it's um, it's a. Uh, it's just like a ball of cottage cheese on the end. That is what it, would that would that make any difference? Sort of, and this foreskin is just stuck to it, the, the the helmet of his penis. Okay, would what time? Make, what time of night are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> it can be any time you like. It's good that you'll do it. It's nice. Someone, a few people have agreed to do it. Uh, so we'll get in touch with him and let, let him know. <laughs> Should I write him a letter at the end of the series and go? These are the people I who I think you have a realistic chance of being filleted by Keith. I think you should, you should send it as if it's like a signed petition. 
<laughs> the undersigned agree that you should be filleted at once. <laughs> but now, what's the story behind him? What it's, are, what it's, I, what, it's why it's him? complicated. Um, it just comes out from a very early podcast. He's, so, he's a sort of mad actor who, uh, and he was a comedian as well. And like a, quite, quite a good comedian. Kind of mad? Well, sort of, but he's just like a bit. He's a bit of a kind of bad boy, you know, drinking guy. But he came like to a, like a real Russell Brand. Yeah, well, yeah, sort of a bit more frightening. But then he thinks he's a bit like he thinks he's a, a bit outrageous and he's not quite as outrageous. He think he gets drunk on TV and he's a bit, you know, he's a bit of a prick. Right. Uh, right. And he came in 1987 when I was doing the Oxford Review. Is he is, attractive? Um, uh, well, he's had a lot of uh, children by different women, so some women are obviously attractive. Do you like Keith Allen? Allen? If Keith Allen was asking you to dance in front of him, Anna, would you do that? You might consider it. Fucking hell. <laughs> give, me a ta- give, me a phys- <laughs> give me a physical type. Name somebody famous that I might know who is a similar physical type. <sighs> John Rickles. John Rickles. <laughs> Is that accurate? <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's sort of a little hairy, sort of a kind of balding Oliver Reed. How about that? Maybe, maybe sort of that in those. All oh, right. So okay. it's a little bit of dirt, you know. But he, he sabotaged an early show of mine. Actually, I'll talk to you this about you because with someone, uh, we have got time. Um, someone emailed. That's me. <laughs> so I'm asking all of my guests this question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone is going to provide a better answer than you will have to listen. If you don't know who I'm talking about, just go with the flow. And I apologise for this. I'm asking it to everyone. Yeah. What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you want? What would you want in return? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, it's, it's a truthful answer. I don't know. What it would take. Well, look, it's been. Um, <laughs> No, I've got to do a bit longer. Uh, I've got to do a bit longer. I've got to do a bit longer. A while ago. <laughs> <laughs> you were sucking but a man's nipple <laughs> and some milk came out. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see where the milk came from, but I assumed. <laughs> was it brackish? It was Keith Allen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm asking all of my guests this, uh, Matt Kirshen, <laughs> as you may be aware. Well, so you've had a little bit of a prep time to think about this. What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? Two and a half minutes. <laughs> good. <laughs> Pretty good then. Pretty confident of your ability. I think so. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> or just, or fairly confident of, uh, of <laughs> Keith, Keith Allen's premature ejaculation. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him and I think he's the kind of guy who'd be easy to make up. Um, <laughs> just the excitement of having his cock in the face of a small boy looking man <laughs> will be. <laughs> <laughs> of a Jewish boy with a <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> uh, <let's laughs> both of them are fantastic. Um, what was I going? I'll, I'll do this because I haven't done this yet, have I? Right, I haven't asked the question that I've asked everyone yet, have I? so I've got to do that before oh, I yeah. forget. This I ask everyone this question, Izzy. This isn't just for you, and okay. uh, this because because I've spent quite a long time asking perverted things to you. It now seems like I've just got you on to say to ask you awful questions, but. What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you want in return? <laughs> Keith Allen. What would you return for fillating Keith Allen? Lily Allen's dad, yeah. 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 Does that make a difference that <laughs> his cock <laughs> has produced Lily Allen, so therefore well, it, might yeah, be more, it might be more tempting? Her clothes shop's doing quite well. I've been yeah. watching her reality show. Okay. Um, Do you think you might get a free clothes if he goes... If, if he goes well, that might be part of a deal. Is that my cock? You'll, I'll give you a 20% discount. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be enough? Is that what is he asked you to ask? <laughs> <laughs> I think he might be sitting at home with a little <laughs> list of all the com- what it would take. Okay, that's good. So that one, that's world peace. That probably is uh, going to be too hard for me to organise. Is he sitting twenty-five pence? Yeah, cool. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> that is a I very. Love if he googles himself, which he may well do, because like I was reading the other day that Carrie Katona googles herself every day, and oh she's like, God, she must a have a terrible <laughs> fucking time with that. <laughs> must take her all day to Google herself. <laughs> But um, I mean, I, I sometimes think, oh, Tom Cruise would never Google himself, but maybe he does. So Keith Allen may well Google himself. Yeah. And if someone's written about you asking this, it would just be like, oh my God, <laughs> Phil Nickel would do it for, I don't yeah. know. What did Phil Nickel say? Um, Phil Nickel said, he w- I think he just said he would do it, basically, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I think he knows. So a couple of people have known him. I think if Keith Allen Googles himself, probably the top 10 entries will just be me slacking him off, to be honest. So, so I think he may be aware of this vendetta I have against him. Oh, okay. um, and, and you used to do, you were doing this joke uh, about uh, Amy Winehouse in a well, weren't you? Sitting down, would you still do that one in the set? No. 
other show and he said, you should have done an auction. It sounds like it was going so badly. <laughs> I said, of course, I could have made about 500 quid. Like most people in that room hated me so much. Um, so next time that happens, I'm going to ask for at least a grand. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to not price yourself too cheaply, especially in the... Um Keith Allen for Late Show uh, scenario. Yeah, did I en end up saying I'd do that for a 20% <laughs> discount? Yeah, I, I don't so. think I ever actually said that. Uh, yeah, 30%. 30%, 30 that's fair enough. He's taking notes. Not back at home, he's listening. Not going, oh, good. Is he strategic? Uh, so, look, we're going to do a competition now where one of you people here can literally win some things. Uh, so, uh, what we do is we make sure. Oh my <laughs> God. The <laughs> and the fact, I think he stayed, you know, so it's like. <laughs> Stuart Lee's as bad as anyone I think, when it comes to that, but that's uh, oh. pretty nice. So, look, before I forget, I'm asking everyone this question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and it kind of follows on. Uh, what What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you need in return <laughs> for that? Well, if the part required it, <laughs> uh, if it was a good, well-directed film, yeah, um, yeah I, it wouldn't take that much, probably. probably not. Yeah. Would you be happy to do that in... Because there are sometimes, because you are an actor as well, you've been in... Uh, I'm, I'm in acting jail at the moment. <laughs> um, made a couple of bad choices. <laughs> Due for parole, um, I think, this year, right. I hope. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel, as an actor, that I would do that. If if I was asked to do it for a part, I wouldn't do it for fun. <laughs> right, we do it for money. I feel like I, I do it for money like if you were filmed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do more or less anything <laughs> if I was filmed. It's like that Russell Brand show that he did. You remember yeah. on TV? What was it called? Rebrand. Yeah. And he did all kinds of things like that. Like he had slept with a very old prostitute. Didn't he have a bath with like a very old scabrous prostitute or something? And yeah, he put himself in all kinds of strange situations. Allegedly he did these things. Just No, no, it's in the show. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're did he really do it though? Uh, well, like he, he gave an old guy a hand job and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did, set yeah. himself all these grotesque challenges. And then. Just didn't Katy Perry know about that? I wonder if she's. <laughs> I wonder if, if they've just sat down and watched them. Chancing yeah. across on some cable <laughs> TV, going, oh, I saw something a bit weird. <laughs> I guess if you're married to Russell Brand, you're kind of yeah. used, to, used to the. Uh, I think that was that was before he cleaned his act up a little bit. <laughs> Good, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's I, how he met Katy Perry. I mean, wanking I off a tramp. <laughs> she was on the other side. <laughs> oh, you like wanking off tramps too? <laughs> 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 it's better than wanking off a pig, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? No, it's not, is it? Wanking off a pig's nice. Rebecca. <laughs> Copious amounts of semen, apparently, if you, right. wank, if you wank off a pig. I mean, I'm thinking about Rebecca Lou. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 when she did that. Uh, Everyone's gone for false, but... Yeah, that is false. Yeah. It's a fear of clowns. Oh, we had a clown on the other day, and I can understand that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> having said that. Uh, so, uh, what else have I got for you? Um, ooh... Ah, it, 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 uh, I would for late Keith <laughs> Allen in return for <laughs> Gordon Hodgson has just gone in return for uh, being able to go back in time and stop him ever going out with Julia Sawala before I did. Is that true or false? Um, that's false. I'm just judging it by the number of people standing up. So sit down if you said true. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! I just changed. Boo! <laughs> so if you're still in the back, kind of make uh, make yourself known. Come forward. Have you got another one? I'd like to thank Michael Legg. Uh, oh, I didn't. 
I think without him, none of this would have been possible. So I hope he uh, feels that he's he's got the, what he's deserved.